Well, good afternoon, Raider Nation. My name is Brent Johnson, along with head football coach of the Bacon County Red Raiders, Keith Goss, and welcome to week 10 of Red Raider football. Coach, it's flown by. It's, uh, you know, considering going in and, and the things we faced with, with COVID and everything else, the season, you know, it's, it's rolled along. And uh, <clears throat> we've seen some ups and downs this season. We have. Uh, but I know I have seen uh, gradually that culture that you have talked about for the last year and a half. It's, uh, it's changing. We're getting things moving in the right direction. Um, there, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, guys are staying the course and doing the things we're asking them to do. Um, and he you know, ended up, you know, coming away with a victory against uh, East Lawrence. Yeah. And a good victory uh, for Bacon County. As I mentioned, some of the ups and downs, some of the downs the last couple of weeks, we've had some, some tough uh, some tough losses where, you know, as a fan, as a, as a, uh, and as a coach, you know, I, I'm sure, and the players knew in their hearts we were probably the better team on the football field at least that night between the 20s and uh, just couldn't get it done on the scoreboard. And, and that, those things will, uh, will get better. Those opportunities are going to continue to be there with, with what's going on. Right. You know, it, it's, uh, if you haven't been in those type of games, um, and, and tough games and the close games, um, you don't know how to win those games. So it's, it's the first step is getting your team to a point where they're competitive and able to compete against good competition mm -hmm. and be in the game with an opportunity to win it. And um, you know we're to that point now. We've we have earned the right by you know working hard in the weight room and on the practice field and and. And everything else that we're that we're doing, we've earned the right to be in those football games. Now it's it's learning how to win those football games and keeping our composure and, and continuing to do our job, uh, play by play by play throughout the entire game, and, and learning how to execute and finish. Well, all I've ever wanted personally, and I know I talked to a lot of people, and throughout the years, um, we just we want to compete, just be able to compete, show up and and have a chance. And I know that's what you've, you've provided this year. Uh, those boys have done uh, each and every game we've had a chance. And irregardless of our thoughts of, well, this play or that play or this call or that call, we're in a position where Bacon County wants to be. And, right. and that's, that's where we're at. We, we have a chance any night we go out and, and play football. And uh, you know, that's, a, that's a good feeling. Yeah. Well, I was excited last week for a couple reasons. Uh, I don't think we'd ever played East Lawrence High School before. In, in football at least. I don't know if we've met them in a basketball playoff. Didn't look all that stuff up or, or baseball or whatever, but um, we traveled over to, to uh, Lawrence County is a, is a big place. Yeah, you it know, is. You, you're talking about West Lawrence, and that's a 3 or 4A school. 4A. 4A that's, that's, you're talking about a lot of people in that county. And then Dublin, Dublin and boy, they're, whew, that's just another booger. Uh, they went down to, to single A, thank goodness. Uh, so that helps. But uh, East Lawrence, uh, it was a nice venue. Sort of down in a little little hole, little pit, sort of like yeah. uh, what we saw over in Toombs County. Um, nice environment, another homecoming that we spoiled. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, I was excited about going, uh, giving our Red Raiders an opportunity. Uh, felt like going in. Looked at the little film that we again. I thought we were the best team would be on the field. We just had to prove it. Started off a little slug. Yeah, we we did start off a little a little sluggish. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and, and say that we, uh, you know, we did not seem to be firing all cylinders early. And, you know, obviously we had to get it, get it regrouped uh, after we had thrown an interception and gotten down by two scores. But our defense responded. Uh, Nicosi uh, Batten came up with a huge mm -hmm. interception and, and, and momentum changer. And, uh, you know, then we got another stop on defense and offense was – was feeding off that momentum and went down and scored before halftime and tied it up. Um, you know, at that point we went on to, to score and, you know, another you know, 21 unanswered uh, and ended up winning the game. Uh, but a lot of it, you know, high school football is a lot about momentum. And, and, and once we, we got that momentum, we never, we never gave it back. Well, you know, we got down 14 nothing. I think they, they just scored, got the extra point, and we were coming over, getting ready to go back on the field to receive the kickoff, and you had a little uh, had a little team huddle up there on the side. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, 
you, you gotta you gotta try to circle the wagons and stoke uh, the fire, right? Stoke the fire, and uh, you know, there's a bunch of other analogies you can throw out there, and um, a lot of fire fire underneath them, and and it's uh, it, it worked out. Yeah. So, well, these are 14, 15, 16, 17 year old kids that two tough weeks. Practice hard, did everything they're supposed to do, tried to do, and, and, and just didn't get it done on the school board. Then that third week, of, another hard week of practice and preparing, and, and you come out, like I said, for whatever reason, you come out a little flat and, or, or, or and just, and uh, you know, you had to get hit in the mouth. And then and you had you had to remind and, them and, who they were, right. and where and, we were, and, and what we're capable of. And, and I don't want to get it confused. I mean, I, I do feel like we're a better team than East Lawrence, but um, they're also. You know, I think three and four on the year. That's right. Uh, they're not a horrible team. Mm. Their 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 quarterback uh, is a five hundred pound squatting yeah. man to tackle. That's right. And uh, they their coach does a good job. Uh, I've known him for for a while. Uh, he worked on my staff at, at McIntosh. Um, so you know, he's preparing them to be successful yeah. and and. You know, he's going to do a good job there years to come. Uh, so it, it's one of those things that, you know, they weren't they weren't expecting us to just roll and come in there and, and beat them. They, yeah. they showed up to play football, they and did. they showed early. Sure. And that's what you expect. And, I, and here's what I've come to expect, that everybody brings their A game to against Bacon County. <laughs> well, um, I mean, that's just, you know, that's uh, – Yeah, I mean, everybody's coming to play football. Uh, and it's – and we got to be ready to match that. Yeah. Every week. From, and, and from first play. From first play. Yeah. And, and that's something that we got to get better at as a team. You know, I'd love to tell you that, that we're perfect in everything we do. Uh, that would be a lie. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but we're still growing. Sure. We're still learning. We're still getting better as a team. And, and that process has not stopped. Um, you know, I have some great assistants. I got some players that are, that are learning, growing, getting stronger, getting smarter in the game. Um, and, and we're – Continuing to, to keep working on that process. Yeah. Well, a couple things uh, that stood out to me about that game is was our defense. You know, defense has has played really well the last few weeks. Um, they they have kept us in some games and given us some opportunities, yeah. and um, they definitely did Friday night. I certainly and Joe, who's normally here. Um, is sort of the researcher, historian, stati- statistician. Um, I can't remember the last time Bacon County had two pick sixes in a game. Um, I haven't seen that. Or, or I, I don't even know if that's a statistic that's I, been know, kept. I, I don't um, know if that's one. You know, we would have to to hit the you know Facebook up. And, yeah, well, and, we, we may have. We we probably Bacon County probably has an average two a season, if I had to guess, but. Uh, you know, but two in one game was pretty impressive. Now, obviously, we had them in a situation that they were awkward. They 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 are not a predominantly passing team, right? Um, so the last one was probably uh, more because of where we had them in the game, right? Um, but we still made a play, and a young man took it to the house, and that was that was pretty cool to see and watch. But uh, one more thing about the defense before we move on, uh, remind the the folks that are watching our fans. Uh, how important that it is that our defense is playing and how young we are and, and how few well, players that we're going to lose. Uh, yeah, we're not going to lose many off of defense. Um, I want to say we have, depending on the night and who wins the spot during the course of the week, because, you know, just because you're starting this week doesn't mean you're starting next week. Um, depending on the week, uh, anywhere from eight to nine underclassmen start on defense. Mm. Eight to nine? Correct. Okay. So, um, you know, There'll be a few guys where we'll, you know, we'll wave goodbye to when yeah. the season's over and appreciate them for everything they've done. Uh, but the majority of our defense will still be intact. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's just fun to think about, um, especially the way we've seen these kids fly around the ball. Uh, and, and the big contributors uh, are, are some freshmen and sophomores. Uh, and one or two juniors, you know, that'll have one, you know, another year back. But, um, you know, just, Usually, we don't like to call out too many names, uh, you know, when we're when we're talking about these kids. But um, you know, one that just stands out to me, and I know he played with an injury last week too, and that's uh, music. 
uh, Trent Music, yeah. the free safety. He's he's done a, just a great job. He's he's definitely a tough kid. Um, played through getting banged up a little bit. Uh, team guy. Mm -hmm. um, really look forward to to his continued development. Uh, one quick thing with uh, Trent, he's he's in one of my classes, and and I just get a kick out of just hearing a lot, some of the conversations with with anything, but. Matter of fact, it was just today he was talking about some things about football with some of his, not just other football players, but some other students. And he kept saying, my defense, my defense. They're on my defense. That's right, because he takes ownership. In I like that. I he mean, takes pride in it. He, he's yeah, he, he's going to play on my defense tomorrow night. <laughs> and, and that's um, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. That is right. that is part Absolutely. of the, the growth process and, and him taking leadership and ownership in the defense. And, uh, you know, I like stuff like that. Certainly. I, I do. Um, so, you know, I think stuff like that's great. Well, that's one thing. We've had some kids with some big personalities and some, uh, you know, that, that I guess would have some qualities of, of leaders over the years. Most of the kids that we've had sort of led by example. They didn't lead with example plus with their yeah. verbalizing things. And, you know, that, I think that's something that we've missed because um, we've had some really good players over the years that play hard, practice hard, do everything the right way, and, and sort of that example. But being able to get in somebody's ear hole, you know, and, yeah. and saying, hey, this is what you've got to do. Yeah, this is you what know, we're doing, this is, yeah. and you got to come along. That's right. That's right. Um, so, you know, stuff like that's definitely, uh, definitely important. Um, offensively, mm -hmm. um, Mason, I think, passed the single season career passing yards this week. That is correct. Uh, he beat another fine young man. Um, I talked to him, this guy too, got to know him quite well, uh, Aubrey Carter. Um, similar prototypical 6'2", 6'3", 175, 85-pound uh, slinger. Um, yeah. It was relatively mobile. I think Mason's probably a little bit faster than Aubrey was. Um, but just, you know, you got – you know, you like to see that kind of stuff. Right. And uh, I think he overtook him uh, by 100, 100 yards or so. I think it was 16-something to 17-something now. So that was, was fun to watch. I mean, um, the, he broke a lot of records uh, this year. And, he has. Uh, might, have an, might have an opportunity for the total touchdown. I think that's about the, 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 the next biggest accomplishment he could, he could get um, possibly tomorrow night, uh, given the opportunity. Right. I think he's one or two shy, maybe, of, uh, of passing the total touchdowns in a season. Um, but uh, but who knows? We'll see. That's right. We we want W's, and then if the if, if the, the statistics the, work out, great, great. But the, the wins is what gets that's you right. to that next level, and and that's what we're going to focus on first. All right, folks, we're not going to take a break. We're going <laughs> to stay right with it. Uh, we're going to talk about Vidalia Indians this week. Um, that's who we got. Week ten. And uh, we'll talk about the scenarios, the possible scenarios to get in the playoffs after we, we, we talk about uh, X's and O's here with this team. But um, I do know a buddy of mine uh, texted me over the weekend and said, uh, we've been playing by day for 40, within a 46 maybe year period of time. Now we've only played them I think about 12 times and we're, we're over. Whether it was 0 and 10 or 0 and 12, I can't remember. But we've never beaten by day in football. Um, why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, no, it's 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 one of those um, games that you know we're we're excited to get out there and play against them. It's it's our our last home game of the year, um, and you know they're a very talented bunch. Uh, they they've been on a little hot streak. Uh, they've played a very competitive game against Tombs last week, um, went into triple overtime, and they were they were able to secure that win against Tombs in triple overtime. Um, and, and they're good with what they do offensively. You know they are going to um, you know run their quarterback. They got a big, strong running back. They they like their RPO game. They'll, they'll do some of the things that that we do offensively. Um, you know, defensively, they're going to fly around to the ball. They they uh, base out of a three four or fifty defense, however you like to say it. But it's to me, it's more of a three four. Um, and based off of the, the spread looks that they're given, um, and 
you know, they got some good good guys up front that are good D linemen and some linebackers that can run to the ball. So, um, Coach, yeah, we got a chance. No, yeah, we definitely <laughs> got a chance. Um, uh, but, you know, they're, they're a good football team. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when I look, think about Vidalia football in, in comparison to the other teams in our region, they probably got the richest football history, I, I think, um, when it comes to and, and they always they're always competitive it seems like I know they've, they've changed coaches right. uh, in recent years and uh, but it seems like they always field a pretty solid team they just got always have some good athletes big kids I noticed on film quarterback probably the the best we will have faced this season um, as a whole uh, running and he can he can throw it down the field if he needs to um, so again size and speed and and they they're well always well coached you know they're right. gonna be prepared to play it and that was a you know I guess our one of our advantages is last week they had a real emotional victory and it was a victory over uh, their biggest rival the Toombs County Bulldogs and right. um, you know it's uh, hopefully we'll catch them on a, as well as uh, possibly down emotionally they maybe not be able to get back up for us being an away game if they were back home and it was their senior night. Uh, or something like that. Right. But, I mean, it's it's very possible that those those emotions take place, and they do. You know, you're dealing with high school kids once again. Yeah. Can't um, expect that. You though. can't expect yeah. that. Though. You yeah. prepare. Yeah. That's you right. Prepare for their best game, and and you you know, prepare your guys uh, the best way you can, according to to what you feel like they're going to do, and you know, you prepare your team to to match up. Yeah. Um, Coach, we're gonna you gonna share if we're gonna be doing anything a little bit different tonight, uh, or not? Or no, I, I generally don't don't get into that too much. Um, um, I know this will go out on, on film. I mean, go out and to the the internet, general public. And general public, and uh, this is not a pay per view, so yeah, yeah. we're on a, a YouTube. But you know, there's uh, uh, normally it's senior night for for Raider Nation. Uh, we decided, uh, the powers that be decided to have it a little earlier in the season, just right. in case the season was suspended or for whatever reason. Right. I think that was a good call. Um, we are recognizing veterans this right. Friday night, and I'm not sure exactly what that process or procedure will be, but we encourage you to come to this home game. I mean, and that's, right. uh, that's what's important. Uh, we're back at home. Uh, I think we're going to have some great weather. I yes, think, I think yes. The, the weather is uh, as best. Cooler weather, it's muggy. Golly, this this mug you cut it with a knife every afternoon. We go home and uh, it's not enjoyable. We're supposed to be in the uh, mid to low 70s uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, may even be in the 60s before the game is over. Um, so that's what we're looking for is a is a full house on a, on the last Friday night light at least here at at, uh, at Bacon County High School, and we're excited about it. I know our kids are coming off that big win last week against the East Lawrence, and. Uh, and so we're, you know, again, just excited to be there tomorrow night. So if you are a veteran, uh, please come. I know they're going to recognize uh, those of our in our community, um, and uh, so that that'll be be kind of neat as we welcome in the Vidalia Indians. Now, before we uh, close this short show out, um, let's talk just a little bit about the possibilities. We put ourselves behind the eight ball by not getting those victories. Um, but there's still a chance, Coach. There, there still is a chance, and there, there's a couple of different ways it could shake out. Um, if um, Toombs loses out, uh, it, that would that would put us in a three-way tie between. And we beat by day. And no, we wouldn't have to. Wouldn't have to beat by day. Okay. No. Okay. And that way, it would force it into a three-way tie, and it goes to plus and minus 15. Uh, if East Lawrence won the game. And, and beat Tombs that last game of the season, uh, and they did not win by more than 24 points, uh, we would get the last spot in the playoffs because it, it's all off a of plus minus 15. No mini games this year. There is no mini games. Yeah. Um, so there is there's that possibility. If Tombs wins against Swainsboro, we would have to win against Vidalia, and East Lawrence, I believe, would have to win against Jeff Davis, so there would still be the possibility of that three-way tie. Okay. Or Tombs can lose both the games. Uh, we can win against Vidalia, and then it doesn't matter what East Lawrence wins by. So there's there's a couple different scenarios, and those are just uh, those are the main ones. Those yeah. are the most probable. I guess. Um, as far as I know, that's that's the the biggest chance of, of getting in without anything else. Well, extremely crazy. <laughs> I go back to the. Uh, I just thought about it. 
and it's corny, but um, the movie Dumb and Dumber. So you're saying I got a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, she uh, says yeah. not a million years. So you're saying I got a chance. So as long as we have a chance. No, there's definitely a chance. Um, you know, Swainsboro and Tombs will be a good matchup. And, you know, East Lawrence, that, that will be, you know, at their place. Uh -huh. um, senior night. And, you know, they got a good crew of football yeah. players. Yeah. Um, so there, there's, there's something to fight for for them, too. Well, this is what I want to see, and I know that Raider Nation does, is, is our boys show up tomorrow night ready to go and and, and play well and let the cards fall where they, they may. And, and win, win or lose, win we, or lose. we play well. And, man, if we could get a victory, you know, you're talking that's, that's potential, I say program changer. You know, that's definitely something that, regardless if we made the playoffs or not, that's just a huge hurdle there to prepare us for next year and years right. to come. And years to come. You know, it's, like I said, we're, we're learning how to be in tough football games. Mm -hmm. um, and we were in a tough football game last week yeah. um, and, and found a way to overcome it. Yeah. And so we're, we're learning how to be in those tough games, and we, and we finally learned how to win one. And we'll see how we can build upon that. Well, we want to encourage you all to come out, uh, pack the house uh, tomorrow night. Uh, again, we'll be honoring our veterans, and uh, this will be the last uh, last home football game, at least, uh, for the Bacon County Red Raiders, and uh, we just want you to be a part of it. If you can't make it out, we will be broadcasting live on the NFHS Network, uh, BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting, and I will be sending out on social media normally what I normally do, the links uh, to, to subscribe, and the game links uh, for that. So I encourage you to, to log on. I know some people still don't want to feel comfortable getting out or you can't travel. If you got family members, no matter where they're at, they can watch it and uh, encourage you to do that. Coach, I appreciate you being here this afternoon. Shout out to Joe Hayes. Uh, he got caught on a away trip and couldn't get back in time. Um, I was more than willing to fit in, or fill in, I guess, by pull of the ear. Uh, but uh, this is normally not my forte, but I do, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Week 10, Red Raider Coaches Show. And uh, again, I encourage y'all to come out tomorrow night and support our Red Raiders. Go Big Red.